Number 8. Panic Pea Syndrome Picture this. You're in the woods, you hear a twig snap, and suddenly your bladder has urgent business to attend to. Welcome to Sympathetic Nervous System Sabotage, where your body reacts to fear by unlocking every valve like you're a badly designed water balloon. See, your fight-or-flight system gets triggered, thinking you're about to wrestle a bear. So it lightens the load, literally, by making you want to pee, or worse. The theory? If you're being chased, you'll run faster if you're not carrying around that latte from three hours ago. Cute logic, until you're the one sprinting into the bushes mid-hike yelling. It's not what it looks like. This also explains why animals, and sometimes you, at job interviews, lose control when terrified. Your ancient survival instincts are just trying to help, in the least helpful way possible. Basically, your nervous system thinks wet pants are a flex. Number 7. The let's freeze and die reflex. Imagine locking eyes with a predator, and instead of running or fighting like a legend, your body chooses freeze mode. You become a majestic, wide-eyed statue, like a deer in the headlights, but somehow less useful. This is the tonic immobility reflex, and it's hardwired in a bunch of animals, including you. It's your body's attempt at playing dead, which might work if the threat is a T-Rex that only sees movement, but against, say, a hungry wolf or reality itself. Yeah, not so much. This freeze response shuts down your ability to move, speak, or even breathe properly all while your heart's doing EDM in your chest. In nature, it might make you look less appetizing. In real life, it just makes you feel broken. Your brain, we're in danger. Should we run? Your body, no, no. Let's collapse like a Victorian ghost and hope it goes away. Number six, your eyes are gaslighting you. You're deep in the woods and you swear you just saw something move. Was it a bear? A ghost? A squirrel with too much caffeine? Nope. It was your eyes being little drama queens again. This phenomenon is known as pareidolia, the delightful glitch where your brain takes visual noise, shadows, tree branches, or oddly shaped rocks, and turns them into faces, figures, or something watching you. Evolution baked this in so you'd be overly cautious in dangerous environments. Like, hey, maybe that is a saber-toothed tiger in the bushes, or a bush that identifies as a saber-toothed tiger. Even worse, at night, your rods, the light-sensitive parts of your retina, take over, but they suck at detail. So you get grainy, Blair Witch-style footage fed directly into your brain, where it gets edited into creepiest things that never happened. You're not seeing monsters, your brain wants you to think you are. It's like a horror movie directed by your own neurons. Number 5. The Sudden Collapse Auto Feature Ah yes, vasovagal syncope. The fun term for your body doing a full system shutdown because it felt something. Could be blood, a bad smell, a needle, or just your brain randomly deciding today is a good day to reboot. Your heart rate drops, your blood pressure nose dives, and down you go like a sack of sad potatoes. It's like your body's trying to escape the awkwardness by teleporting straight to the ground. This reflex might have once helped cavemen fake death to avoid fights or predators. But nowadays? It mostly helps you create memorable moments at weddings, in classrooms, or out on a hike where there's no one around but squirrels judging you from above. Basically, your nervous system saw a problem and said, what if we just die a little? Number four, your brain goes full GPS fail. You're hiking, confident, strong, outdoorsy, and then you realize you've been walking in circles. Again, congratulations. Your brain's spatial orientation just betrayed you like a disloyal hiking buddy. Here's the deal. Without landmarks, the human brain has a terrible internal compass. Studies have shown that when blindfolded and told to walk straight, people drift in perfect circles without even realizing it. And it's not a cute little arc. We're talking tight spirals of doom. Why? Because your body isn't perfectly symmetrical. One leg might be a smidge stronger, or one eye might dominate more than the other. Over time, these tiny differences compound into, why am I back at the same cursed tree again? In nature, this is a nightmare. GPS? Dead. Cell signal? Gone. Your brain? Playing a game of spinning wheel of death with your sense of direction. You're a human Roomba with no walls to bounce off. Basically, if you're ever lost in the wild, just know your own legs are the ones gaslighting you. Number 3. Heat stroke turns you into a confused lizard. So it's hot. You're sweating. 
and then suddenly, you're not. That's when the real fun begins. Heat stroke is what happens when your body's internal thermostat stops doing its one job, keeping you alive. Your core temp rises past 104 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius. And instead of chilling you out with sweat and shade-seeking behavior, your brain goes, nah, let's freestyle. You stop sweating, get dizzy, hallucinate, and, in some documented cases, start stripping off clothes while you're actively overheating. It's like your body has entered opposite world, where burning alive feels like time to streak across the savanna. This isn't just discomfort. This is your brain being cooked like a microwave potato. It affects your judgment, coordination, and memory. Suddenly, survival decisions become wander toward the light vibes. So yes, if you forget to hydrate and cool off, your body's plan is to self-sabotage in style. Number two, hallucinations from nothing. You're alone in the forest. It's dead silent. You haven't eaten in hours. And suddenly, someone whispers your name. Except no one's there. Welcome to the wonderfully creepy world of sensory deprivation hallucinations. Your brain, it turns out, hates silence. Like a clingy roommate, it can't stand being alone with its own thoughts, so it starts making stuff up. A distant voice, footsteps that aren't there, a flash of movement just outside your vision. All gifts from your understimulated nervous system, trying to entertain itself with ghost stories. In the wild, these hallucinations can spiral fast. Hunger, dehydration, fatigue, even just the lack of consistent sensory input, all make your brain go full improv theater. And unfortunately, your entertainment often includes unsettling visuals and disembodied sounds. It's like your brain is bored and decides to run a horror podcast starring you. Produced by fear. Edited by sleep deprivation. So next time you hear your name in the middle of nowhere, just remember, it's probably not a spirit. It's your brain doing performance art. Number one, you'll eat poison and smile about it. You're starving. You find berries. They're red. Cute. Shiny. You eat them. And then you die. Why? Because your brain's risk-reward system is a greedy little optimist that thinks looks edible equals definitely not deadly. The human body, despite thousands of years of evolution, is shockingly bad at distinguishing safe food from you'll be vomiting into a creek in six minutes. Your taste buds aren't chemical labs. Your nose can't detect most natural toxins. And your hunger? That beast doesn't care. It'll override every red flag with. Just try it. What's the worst that could happen? In the wild, this is how people have eaten toxic mushrooms, rotten fish, and mysterious plants that looked so healthy. Plus, hunger messes with your cognition, making you impulsive, irrational, and desperate enough to chew on something that smells like nail polish remover. So yeah. Your survival instincts might help you run from a bear, but when it comes to food, your brain's basically a toddler at a buffet, zero filters, maximum enthusiasm. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.